So there's a lot of great shoes that came out this year. Super we need dope. to figure out my top 10 pickups. There's stuff that I missed as well. So I'll put a list in a little bit later on the shoes that I missed, but we need to go through some of these. These are some of my favorites uh, of this year's pickups when it comes to the general releases right. and those type of sneakers. Right. Samples and PEs, you see them over there? Yeah, yeah. That's a whole different video. We'll look at that later. We'll talk about that. I got more than 10 pickups on that one too. So where should we begin? I just want to say they came out with some dope stuff this year. Yeah. Like they did a lot of shoes overall, mm -hmm. just period. But they came out with some really dope stuff this year. It's going to be some hard picks trying to figure out what's better than the other. Right. And I think to start that off too, recapping for a second, you always have OGs, classics that come out. So like this year, 2024, you got USC 9s, all of 9s, Columbia 11s, like those type of colorways, OGs mm -hmm. that's coming back, you know, bringing back Burgundy 1 high and right. the right. uh, Navy 1 low, 85 cut. But this is the OG. We yeah. got a retro of it. You know what I'm saying? Playoff 8s, Playoff 13s, yeah. Cherry 12s. White cement threes, even though it's not an OG, but Thunder This four, right here is ridiculous crazy. though. When this came out, I was just like, oh my God. Yeah. This, this shoe right here killed. So this, they shouldn't have slept on this shoe. Like I've seen a lot of people in these. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, it's, and I love that that shoe came out. It chilled. I grabbed a few pairs, like yeah. sitting at retail, it had nothing to worry about. One of the great situations for a sneaker like that. All right, so we need to narrow it down to 10 shoes and then we need to rank them. Oh my God. That's the worst. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and uh. this is the DNA Show. Hey. <laughs> All right, let's get started. We needed that. Wait a minute. <laughs> All right, um, first shoe that I'm kicking off the list. No, <laughs> come on, you cannot do this to me. The reimagine one. Don't do that. I really want that shoe in there. This shoe, you gonna take that off the list? I just, it's the shape for me. It was the shape of the oh shoe. Oh my God. The execution of it. I, I, I would take this off way before that. 100%, these gotta go. We gotta get rid of them, okay? <laughs> we, oh, by the way, those were the Union ones. <laughs> so, okay, we'll keep these around for a sec. We'll let them, oh, we'll let them struggle. Yeah. Are they gonna make top 10? I don't know. I don't but think so. But they can't go yet, they can't go yet. <laughs> okay. What's what, out of you, all these shoes? Pick though. another one. Pick another one. We have to take these out then. Oh my gosh! Okay, <laughs> I have multiple LeBron pickups, but this one in particular that I added to the collection this year is just fire. It's fire. This shoe with the purple metallic on the back, like the this shoe way. is fire. But look at what we got to get. Okay, we're gonna take this off. This is a sample that came to life. Okay, if you gonna say that one, take this one away. All right, all right. Spider Man Air Jordan One. We'll take it off the list. I'll, I'll, put it it off. I'll put it down. I'll put it down gently. I'll put it down gently. Okay. Okay. What else do we have okay. right here? Oh my god. Honestly, okay. Look, if I'm gonna pick one Dornbreaker, this is the hard part too. We got three Dornbreakers. Right. So you got the Air Max. You got the one low and the threes. I think the one low. I take that one away. Will be my least out of the three. It is dope. They, These are fire. Those are. But again, we got help. We got a lot of choices to go through to try to figure All this right. out. We'll get rid of that one. Okay. We still got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 shoes. Mind you, I had a bunch of other pickups this year. I know. But <laughs> I tried to like narrow it down. Yeah. To 20. I didn't realize it was 20 that I put over here. He gets shoes. That's not crazy. Enough. Cause the PEs, there's like 15. Uh, I already know. I don't How know. many shoes did I buy this year? I was like, oh, I got probably about 20, 30. No. So. <laughs> that's almost a month. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Okay. So if you're gonna do that, this is ridiculous. You okay. gotta really get rid of a shoe? Let okay. Me, let me pick a shoe that I know for a 100% fact is not going off of the list. And that's the White Cement 3. These are for sure in the top 10. The, everybody been putting them in like the top three. I'm gonna tell you how I feel about these a little bit later. All in right, the video, people would put those in the top three. So okay. this one 100%, we're gonna just set that one right there for right now. Well, can we do this 100%? 100%. This right here has got to be 100% in the to you, top 10. I think a lot of people slept on this shoe. And now the great debate is which one's better. You got two shoes that are similar. The baby blues. The bubbles. So bubbles is a character from Powerpuff Girls. Yeah. And they got the bubbles like all throughout the upper. I say keep them both and get right, rid of we'll, that one. We'll think about it. We'll think, the green uh, one. <laughs> the green one might be one of the best ones. <laughs> 
<laughs> but the bubbles is fire. Yeah, but okay. So we just got no. Okay, okay, don't. <laughs> okay, neither one of those. How do we do this? I say we take these out. But them is clean. Nah, okay. uh, I say we take these out. I think this is a great addition to the got... collection. I think out of all the OGs and the classics and everything, I was very happy with this. I like the materials, what they did, and the execution. Yeah. But when I think about playoff A's, playoff 13's, cherry 12's, white cement threes, those you got enough of those. I think I can get rid of these. Okay. I think I can get so rid of these. So we take those out. We basically just eliminated four Jordan ones. <laughs> that's all. That's what we just did. So that's why we got this one. We still got that one. Is that the only Jordan one left? <laughs> yes. Thank you, sir. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. All right. So. This one is clean though. What's that? Okay. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, okay, okay. Is the LeBron gonna make the top 10 for me? No. Drop the LeBron. Sorry, LeBron. You only have one shoe and that's it. I think this is like a 10th placer. 10th? I think this one is like. Over what? I'm gonna be honest yeah, with you. you I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. What? I like the I like the purple LeBron over the Thunder Force. No way. Yes. Come on. And the reason now you can see I've been already been wearing these. Yeah. This is a little bit it's harder to wear. I get it. And you don't really wear it with like fits and everything. Yeah. But shoe and all that stuff, like I I think about my feeling when I purchased the shoe. I was so happy to get these. And he's just like, I was all, yeah. This is a like, great pickup, but I would get rid of these two first. There's no way, there's no way you're Kobe getting rid got of, to go. There's no way you're getting rid of these. What happened? Over, over this? Over LeBron? The reverse Grinches? Over LeBron. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Let me think about that. Okay. The, <laughs> the, the purple LeBron is a little bit better than the reverse Grinches. You see what I'm saying? It is. It is. Like, I, that's a nice looking shoe. Okay. I heard it's really comfortable. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not gonna make my top 10. Okay. So, ooh, people are gonna hate you for this one. <laughs> Get out of here. We'll put this one on the fence. We'll put it on the fence Okay, right okay, we'll we might bring fence. it back. We might bring it back. Put it on the fence. So we got one for sure. <laughs> one for sure. The okay. next one for sure? Oh, SB4. for sure, the SB4 has gotta 100%. stay. 100%, 100%. These two, for sure. Yeah, yeah they're okay. good. Those ain't going nowhere. Okay, the next one, for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. The Gratitude 11s. I don't care what nobody say, I love this shoe. You say, I, I already be rocking I think these two are for sure to me. Those are fire. Like, in, in the story behind them and everything. Crazy. Like, these two would be more for sure. For and they look dope on foot too. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. It's not even just about story. It's about like, there's a lot of different elements. <laughs> These two. Can we okay. keep those two? Okay, we'll put them back on the table. Put those back just on the table. Just in case. Just in case. Okay, we but got three. The J Balvin threes. Gotta go. You're tripping. What are we gonna do? This What's... is like, okay, for a lot of. Look at the materials. Look at this shoe. It's nice. But I got these. You just here. seen me wearing these the other day. I did. And they no. look clean. They look good. That's what I'm in saying. Hand, old foot, they look great. So we're gonna let those. So you got three. Okay. Let me see. All right, this is a hard, this is a hard one to get rid of. I think I would keep this over that. I would keep the eights over the thirteens. <laughs> because the eights, they got more meaning, but these are doper looking. I think with the bubbles like that. Ah, uh, what you mean? The size, the design on the playoff eight. No. All right, we'll rock okay, paper scissors for that one. That's two out of three. Rock paper scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Ah, we won one, right? Yeah, yeah. Rock, paper, scissors. Let's ah. go! <laughs> We're keeping the eight. <laughs> Set down the 13s gently. Oh. Okay. We're going to put okay, these back. These yeah. on the fence. Still. They got a recall. These ones on the fence? Yeah, we're going to put them back. We got a there. recall? Okay. Yeah, so we got three. We need seven. Okay. We now, need seven. Now, this is what a lot of sneakerheads do. This is how, this is how, this is how we do it. They wear it as one pair? It's a pack. <laughs> so you, you count one, you count them all type right. thing. So the Powerpuff Girls is basically, after I think about it, the only SBs that I got this year that came out this year. Well, Speaking of that, I have a list. Where's my phone at? I have a list of all the shoes that I didn't get. So let's run through that real quick that I wanted to get. I think it was like six or seven shoes. Born and raised Nike SB. I want those. 
uh, Powerpuff pack. I need the pink pair still. All of Travis Scott one, it's a women's colorway. Oh, yeah, yeah. But they do make them in my size, but they're like stupid expensive. It's like 2000 for my size, 400 for Alexa. <laughs> it's like not even fair. Like it's crazy. So that one was like, oh, you know, I'm yeah. on the fence. I'll wait. You gotta wait. I'll, I'll get them, but it was, I'm waiting. Yeah. The other one was a Travis uh, Golf, one low. Not oh. a huge fan of them, but I did want to add them to the collection. They wouldn't have made it in my top 10, though. Yeah. Uh, then you got the Harito SBs. The who? The, remember the drunk, uh, remember the drunk, the drinks, like the Harito's, the, it's like a soda at the Mexican restaurants. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, and they got like the different flavors. It's was, like orange. Yeah. Yeah, so they got those. Those are fire. Those would have made it in my top 10. Right. I like those. Those are potentially, potentially SB of the year. Fire. Uh, You're the Rabbit, Air Jordan 1 Low. Mm -hmm. Those, oh my gosh, I need those. And then the Vomero 5 Dornbaker. Now, I don't, I don't like orange shoes that often, but that one in particular, I like that shoe a lot. Yeah. So that was my list. That was seven shoes that I missed. And you'll show them the pictures. Yeah, I got pictures to put okay. up there for them. So the, potentially some of those might have made it on this list. But yeah, it's crazy to think that these are the two that I got uh, from the pack. Shout out to I Thomas. He's a part of the community. He hit on them and then he posted them in the community. And then he was like, size 13, because he wears. Like, ah, I was like, bro, I need him. I need him. See, that's what that community is about, too. All, uh, just really helping each other out and everything, yes, working with each other. Exactly. And people don't really realize that you need to be part of the community. He, he came through in the clutch. So, okay, so that's where it's at. So this falls as a pack. All right, so we'll consider this as one. Okay. Either way, we'll just consider okay. it as one. So the question is, does the pack make the top 10? That's the next question. I think the Cherry 12s, I think the way, the materials, the way, they I, think, clean. I think these are top 10. I think these are top 10. Then get rid of these. Which one, the, the Thunder Force? No, keep those, I'm talking about these. There's no way I'm getting rid of the Balvins. So, okay. This, all right, the Balvin in the SB4 collabs of the year when it comes to Jays. Okay. And so, this was right behind it. Honestly so, though, I feel like I like the Dornbeckers. I like the Dornbeckers like better Dornbeckers than that more than I like the Balvin's. Yes, for sure. I do like that, I do like that. That's okay. the drip. Let's, <sighs> See, now you back to getting rid of that. I'll get rid of the boss. I'll get rid of the boss. <laughs> See? Nah, these are cold. Those are clean. All right, these. Oh my God. So we gotta get rid of one of mine. You gotta get one of yours. Okay. <laughs> no, you lost fair and square. <laughs> you lost fair and square. Okay. All right, this is the one I choose to get rid of. You pick one. I'm back to the Kobe's. You really don't like the Kobe's, huh? Nah, I like Kobe's. The Grinch but, are better than those. But I get it. I do like that color though. So, okay. If we gotta go narrow it down, I say get rid of these. The playoff heads. We have to get rid of those. Damn. We're just cutting all the classics out. <sighs> all right, playoff eights. It was fun. Even though I won fair and square to keep them in. Because we keeping you two. Okay. If you keeping these two, you making this one, mm -hmm. and you want to keep that one. So one, now two, you got three, four, four, five, five, six. Five. Yeah. Six. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Eight. <laughs> so it comes down to these five right here. That's what you're telling me. It comes down so to So we need two five. out of this. So these are the five left. We got Royal Reimagined, Cherry 12. I'm taking Cherry 12 over those. I'm taking Cherry 12 <laughs> over the LeBrons. I'm taking the LeBrons over the Kobe's. The Air Maxes. The Air Maxes. Air Maxes. Fire. I say Air Maxes stay. Top 10. Top 10 for the Air Maxes. I say the Air Maxes stay. Now we gotta reverse. So we, we only got a choice of one. Four, five, six. Okay, but the question is, are these top ten worthy? To me, I think these are fire. I say for this one, then get rid of that one. But you said it's a it's pack, like a so pack. it don't matter. It a pack, yeah. <clears throat> for sure. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Mind you, these are not the top three, by the way. We're just they were guarantees locked in. Yeah. So. So we only get one out of these. So out of right. these four, we get one. Wait. All right. I'm gonna take them off the table. So they can see. This one, no, we call that one good. That one's good. These are four options right here. <sighs> okay. And we only get one. 
All right, all right, all right. What is the worst shoe out of these four? This one. Come on! You keep dissing this shoe. This right here is I like, like one of my best pickups of the year that I really just like. Oh, you picked them up? Yeah, after you gave them to me. <laughs> Y'all, if you haven't seen the video, I was surprised because I did not know I was getting these. <laughs> he got them before I got them. Right? <laughs> so for me, like I'm glued to these. Okay, guys. how about this? How about this? We both get one substitute for the top 10. Oh, on the tail end, so we can so really we'll put, call it 11. We'll put, no, I'm saying like, we both get one substitute. So like we could pick out of these four, which one we want to substitute in. You get what I'm saying? Over or something in there. Yep. <clears throat> so basically, like, we figured out the nine, and then we'll- but, but see, like me here, I would get rid of these two for sure, and I keep these two. That's me. That would be me. But we only I like one, LeBron, right? and I like Kobe, one, two, but they only three, have one four, shoe five, each. Six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine. Yeah. So you only got one shoe you can pick. So. All the J's. <laughs> so I'd be back to these, and I'd get rid of these. The Cherry 12 just hits different. I think this is the, I feel like this is the most dominant one. I so if you take that, you would have to get rid of this. I, I love both of those shoes. I, I mean, I actually picked up both of those this year. Oh, you did? <laughs> when did you pick these up? I had those for Christmas. <laughs> Last minute. <laughs> oh my God. Cherry 12. Okay. So I would say keep them. So we're getting rid of those three. Yep. All right, get them out Cause of here. Cause you wanted this, I wanted that. All right, get them out of here. So those are our runners up basically. <clears throat> yeah. We'll just call those runners up. So our runners up are Purple Suede LeBron one, Blue Reimagine, uh, Royal Rearranger one, and Reverse Grinch. That's our runners up. Now let's get into the top 10. And we gotta put these in order. Let's make it spin. Oh my God. Okay, so number one on this side, number 10 on this side. As of right now, no particular order. Here's our top 10 and then we'll rank them. So we got Gratitude, Cherry, uh, Powerpuff, Dornbreaker Air Max, SB4, White Cement 3 Reimagine, Dornbreaker 3, UNC Air Jordan 5 GR, Thunder 4, J Balvin 3. Number one would be for me, no, we ain't gonna figure out number one. We gotta start with the bottom first. Oh, okay. So we gotta go to 10. Just put it top three, if anything. We'll put your top okay, three. Okay, we'll go to 10 first. So 10. All right, number 10. For me, number 10 is potentially the Thunder Force. We'd have to go nine. These ones? The UNC5 at number nine. Ooh. That's rough. <laughs> That's a good one. This is such a slept on shoe. UNC5. That's but, crazy. But, Again, we're talking about everything to go with it. I get it. Like get the it. wear, the whole thing, looks. So if we go, that's nine. I think, okay, okay. We ranked Dornbreaker 3 higher than J Balvin 3, right? Yes. Okay, so let's just move that over. We'll put these here. Move this this way. Ooh. Because I feel like we're getting kind of close to the top three of these. Yeah. The question is, where do we go from here? I think I like the Air Maxes more than I like the J Balvin's. Cherry 12s. The Balvin's are hard. I think I like the Power Puffs more than the Cherries. In current time, not talking about long time. Right. Long time, I'm rocking with the Cherries. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Current time, new era. It's I'm a owned, clean shoe though. Yeah, I've owned like, multiple Cherry 12s. Like, this is something new for the year to represent so the 10, year. 10, 9, 8, 7. We're gonna go six, with six. Five, four, three, two, one. But we don't have the exact order yet with the top five. So if you go six, I will go six here. SB4. Okay, okay, okay. Look, we can put it I'm there. talking about the look. No, no, I, the I don't know. The shoe. I don't know everything about the shoe and the collab and all that. My thing is, this shoe right here, just letting you know, is, to a lot of people, the number one sneaker of 2023. No. This is considered to be the greatest shoe of the year, in other people's opinion. We're not gonna follow other people. I feel that a lot of people hopped on the train and they said, 
oh, this is the hype shoe, da, da, da. like, again, very comfortable. There's a lot of elements to why this shoe is dope and it sh right. for sure should be top three, top five conversations, but in my opinion. For me, I would put both of these shoes over that shoe. But what I'm also saying is, the Dornbecker collection has been around for 19 years, right? Yeah. This is something that has never been done before. They've uh, never done SB and Jordan uh, fours. They've done collabs with SB and Jordan, but they retooled and recreated this shoe to make it more comfortable, more performance wise and everything. And because of that, everybody's saying, we need every single Jordan four to feel like this because this is see, crazy comfortable. That's a story part you know that I don't know. Right, so that's another element to why this shoe is like the right. top contender when it comes to that factor too. So we have to remember that too. Like there's other parts of not just yeah. look. And I'm still on impact for me because like, I don't know all the stuff about the shoe like you know. But I'm saying if I put my shoes on and I step out and I go to a spot, mm -hmm. is they gonna go, oh my God, over these? Or are they gonna go that over these? Right. Cause most people go, Oh my God, over these. Right. Cause this is a basic. But that's the thing. Shoe. That's just like when you rate anything though. It's like, yeah. how are we ranking it? What does the top 10 really mean? Yeah. Right? yeah. So for me, I also have to say when I, cause normally I do the top 10s by myself and I pick out the shoes and I'm like, what did I feel when I picked up the shoes right. for my collection? Right. You know, you like know. I said, like I was excited about these. I'm still excited about I, these. I was happy for the retro, yeah. but it's like owned them before. Da, 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 like, you know what I'm saying? For something new, something, a different take. That's where I'm like, oh yeah, this is, it got my juices flowing a little bit more type yeah. thing. So, yeah. like in that scenario, like I was excited about the Cherry 12s, but low key, I'm like, I'm rocking with the UNC See five more than the Cherry 12. You know what I'm and saying? That's hard. It's like, so it's like, okay, do I go with the the standard like, well, it's a classic. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. if so, like, I'm still gonna have the playoff eights in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Cause those mean a lot to and me. those are durable yeah like we wore those with everything so a lot of different factors to how you rank it so okay we got the sb4s at number six right now i think i think out of respect to the culture we got to have them in the top five so if we move so if anything, those we put them at fifth place so we move those ah, here we go here we go thornbreakers is better than the balvin's balvin threes Okay, so what do you think is the number one release of 2023 out of these shoes? For me, I, I say this is how it was when I seen all these shoes. I'm still going with this as a number one shoe. Like this is, it's, it's, it's it. That shoe's crazy. This is it. The Dornbreaker 3 at number one. <laughs> For me, I would say this is it. Honestly, I feel like if this shoe didn't have such an impact on the culture and them recreating it, and not even that, but how they recreated this shoe, similar to the OG, like we have never seen anything like this before. Right. Since the OG. Like it's just next level. But that's where they got that, and they brought this. Right, so this is the old take, this that. is the new take. <laughs> right, right. Woo! So, okay. Everything they did to this shoe is bananas. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Okay, one thing I can it's say It's okay though, to be different. <laughs> one thing that I can say is, oh my God. The Air Max. I really like this shoe. But I don't know if it's top three of the year. Well, put it at four. So put it at four. I don't have a top three. And then I think about these and I'm like, I love those. Though. These gratitudes to some people, they don't like them. I get it. But like, I like these. I like those. It's hard not to have a Jordan 11 in your top five. And I'm saying yes. And this is, this is crazy. So to me, I'm like, okay, we'll put that there. We'll put that there. So even if you put that in two. But is this the number one sneaker? This or this one? You're saying this one? Remember I was telling you, and you I was saying that, that y'all thought this might be the number one sneaker. Of the I year. said this at the beginning of the year. When it first came out, he said that I kept saying no. And I mean, remember I even seen it ahead of time and I was like, mm -hmm. it's clean. It's really nice. It's a good looking shoe. Do not get me wrong. But you're talking about 
the whole package. Right. And for me, with a size 14 and all that white, I'm gonna mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. A so, lot of people, a lot of people said this was sneaker of the year. And I'm not saying- It's it, got a good grown man look too. I'm not picking it as sneaker of the year because a lot of yeah. other people said it. Cause you heard me say this when they first came out. Yeah. I said it on camera and all the stuff. I was like, it's gonna be hard to beat this shoe. Yeah. It's hard to beat the Reimagine 3. I'm going with the Reimagine 3 still. That's your number one still? Number one sneaker of the year. That's what I'm going with. And this will be mine. So we okay. can, we can, so we can. You pull rank on me, so that's gonna be number one. We'll make that number one. Can number we make two. that number two? So we make that number two. I think again, for me, for my experience, all the things, I am okay with this being number two. Oh. I, I camped out. I did the whole experience. I got to meet <laughs> Hugo. I, I got to meet his family. I got to do the whole thing. Like, this is what sneaker collecting is about. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, there's more than just... This shoe took you back to old school you. This shoe brought Waiting me back. Line. Like, <laughs> this was a great, like, just experience. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. I have a lot of memories with that compared to like, oh, I just got these easy, da, da, da. like yeah. this definitely, I like the story behind the shoe and the story behind how I got the shoe. Right. So I'm okay with that being at number one or number two. Is this the top 10? I think that's where we at. All right, so again, I missed out on some releases. Do you want to move these two? The Balvins are crazy. That's why I was looking at them again, like just to make sure. But you know what also is crazy? I have three Jordan threes in the top five. <laughs> And we got rid of all the ones. That means there was just trash ones this year. They was trying to do nah, too much. Nah, it wasn't trash ones. It was just like cool. It was all cool. You know what I'm saying? The other ones yeah. that I got, they was cool. It was all right. Okay. But that Jordan 3 is a good looking shoe. Like oh, yeah. overall, just to shoot. For sure. And then the materials, the collaboration, the this, the that. Okay, before we finalize this, we need to have a quick debate and then we'll show them the final results. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so we'll do that off camera for a second. <laughs> All right. And then we'll, we'll show them the final results. All right. Are you guys interested in taking your shoe game to another level, but you just don't know where to start? I built a full program just for somebody like you, the Six Figure Sneakerhead. It's an eight week program that takes you through all the steps that you need to know. We have a full community where you can engage with everybody else that's going through the same program as you, we have monthly live meetups, where you can connect with me and other members on the inside. And we set goals for each other and held each other accountable. Also, we give away a free pair of shoes every single month with different challenges. If this is something that's for you or you're looking to take your game to the next level or even flip your sneakers to turn that into real estate, this is the place where you need to be. I can help you with finding loans and remodeling properties and getting yourself on the right path to become a millionaire if that's something that you desire. If this sounds like something for you, hit the link down below in the description and get signed up today. This is more than just sneakers. I wanna see people grow and succeed in all aspects of life. All right, you guys. The 10 are locked in. Let's go with number 10. What do we have? The Thunder Force. That's number 10. Number 10 on the list. The Air Jordan 4 Thunder. This shoe is clean though. You wanted to rank it higher. I wanted to rank this shoe higher. <laughs> do you have these? No, I don't have those. You need those. I need those. Tell the people. Size 14, y'all need those. Y'all see stuff, I need to hook up. I need the 14, man. <laughs> hook your boy up. All right. Next up on the list. <sighs> Air Jordan 5, UNC. I don't have those either, I don't think. You don't have these. <laughs> you got the Michigans and the Oregons. You don't have these. Yeah. You need these. These, size 14. <laughs> if y'all can see, if y'all hear about any 14s, call you a boy. This shoe is another great shoe. Uh, I think a sleeper, and probably a lot of people are surprised that this shoe is on the list. I don't know why, it's a good looking shoe. I think it's just because sometimes shoes come out earlier in the year and people oh, kind of forget about it. Materials is cool. A sock liner. It's a great shoe. Great, great shoe. Yeah. All right, what we got at number eight? So remember we call these as a pair since they came out together. I need the other pair, or the other shoe too, the pink pair. Uh, this is the Powerpuff SB. You got the Buttercup and the Bubbles. I just need the Blossom. Size just 13. Set, size 13. Um, I really like this pack. I was excited about it when I heard about it and I'm looking forward to completing it. And I think this is one of those packs that the shoes are three, 400 bucks right now. 300 bucks, 350. I can see these being eight, $900 down the line. Mm -hmm. One of those like, damn, remember when those came out shoes? 
Like, I think this is one of those. They put a lot of work in this shoe. Oh, man. They I mean, did a there's great. a lot of work in these shoes. And you guys can see from the in-hand shots as well how good the shoe looks. But, uh, yeah, this is number eight on the list. <laughs> the Cherry 12s coming in at number seven. This shoe, we both added to the collection. Yeah. Materials are nice. First time owning the shoe for you. For me, I was, I'm ecstatic about having this shoe. I really wanted yes. this shoe and I got it now, finally. Damn, what are you gonna wear to Fort Lauderdale? Uh, I don't know. Uh-oh, <laughs> sneaker con, we coming. Here we come. Okay, so number seven, Cherry 12s. Classic, nostalgic, could easily be on a lot of people's top five, depending on what shoes they purchased this year. Um, great shoe, still great available shoe. in some stores. Not the bigger sizes, but still available. Uh, on shelves and I think yeah I think this is a good one for sure yeah. okay number six Darnbecker Air Max one big bubble these go crazy uh story behind it camping out meeting the kids everything like young Haley the designer I met the designer she told me the story about the stuff five open heart surgeries they put the hearts to represent the surgeries on the shoe on Still. the toe they got her her current heart that she has in her now right is her logo on the tongue on the inside of the sock liner she drew out the sketch they made it damn near the same as the drawing that she had from the the pin marks and everything with the little zigzag on them it's just like they yeah. went crazy with this shoe really good looking shoe this is an amazing sneaker uh, amazing story i had a great time picking up the shoe Definitely worthy of being on my top 10. Just this little work. hand, that little heart right there on the back. Yeah, the little gold that, heart. And yeah, then they got the same thing right here on the yeah. front. Like the details on the shoe, the yeah. spark, the speckle, gold speckle yeah. in the air. And then on the same thing, they did that confetti on the bottom, on the bottom yeah. of the outsole. And they got they the went little, out their way on this shoe. It's just, again, great, great shoe right here. Definitely worthy of being on the top right. 10. Okay, top five. Yeah. We did some rearranging, guys. <laughs> we did some rearranging. <laughs> Number five. <laughs> Look like I got bumped. Drum roll, please. Look like I got bumped. <laughs> oh. Air Jordan 4 SB coming in at five. I think uh, it makes sense to be in the top five. I think it had a big impact on the game. A lot of people love the shoe. I get it. Universal, you can wear it with a lot of different things. Comfortable, a lot of different elements to why the shoe is dope. Yeah. For me, I got the shoe. I was happy about it. Is it my favorite shoe of the year? No. And that's why they fight. That's what number five. <laughs> it is what it is. So that's kind of where we're at with this one. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment Man. section. I'm sure it's about to get real zesty. Y'all see me rearrange them again. Oh. It's going to get real zesty in the comments. Right. I, already know. I can already see what's going to happen. Number four. <laughs> we switched some things up here. The J Balvin Air Jordan 3. Number four. <laughs> what do you guys think about this? I think, I was saying it before. The Balvins, because of the other elements to the shoe, just made it better than the SB4. Right. On the design and the colors and the, and the materials and everything. They're both nice. Yeah. But these go crazy. And it, yeah, it's got great materials. Everything's not, and it's an easy wear. Like, uh, yeah, that's you, the thing. This is an easy wear. Like you don't have to really figure out an outfit Listen to, to this guy. Listen to this guy. This you guys wear. remember when we were first talking about these when they came out? <laughs> Oh, you can't wear these with nothing. No, it's but- It's got rainbow on the back. No, 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 no. Well, I'm, I wear trash. long pants, so I'll go cover up the back. Oh, now it's a cop. Da, da, da. But it's an easy wear. Like, I, I look at it now. I might have the whole footage. Yeah, it's, it's, but the thing is like, some of the stuff grow on you too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, some of it grow on you too. Cause I was like, I am not doing that. But no, it grew on me. No, this shoe is fire. And they're making a black version too, this summer. That'll be way. So it's like a murdered out version oh like this. God. So uh, number four, Air Jordan 3, J Balvin. Could easily be number one on a lot of people's lists as well. I have a crazy memory with this sneaker, wearing these to the New Year's Eve ball drop in New York Times Square. Oh, this is what you had on? I had these on. I couldn't see the pictures and stuff. This is what I wore. <laughs> I was waiting to wear them for this video, and I was like, I'm rocking these to New York. Like, this is gonna go perfect with the fit. Like, so I wore these, but yeah, great shoe. I got a lot of memories with it. I'm excited to create more memories in that sneaker. The next one. People are probably gonna be mad about this, but this I just one of my love shoes. a Concord and the DMP I liked more than the Concord. Yeah. And when it came out with these, 
with elevating the materials, getting rid of the mesh, creating the leather, making it more durable, da, da, yeah. da, adding a little, you know, the gold jump man on the back with the 23 and all the different stuff. Like, yeah, it just, these are crazy. Like when I bought these, I wore them the next day. And then day. the bottom, the color, like look at that brightness. Yep. I know over time they'll yellow boat. It's already got that milky look though. So you don't yeah. have to really worry about it. Oh. You see, I got a pair sitting over there already. I wore those soon as I bought, I bought six or eight pair. How many pairs uh. did I get? <laughs> I don't remember. Either way. This is a shoe year. I bought three pair of every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of those and I am not, you know. But I'll be I'm, wearing these. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I got multiple. These are comfortable shoes. The shoe is fire. I love them. Yeah. They look good with a lot of different types of outfits. The Gratitude Air Jordan 11. This is three? Wait. This is number four. Three. Okay, this is three. Three. Y'all yeah. know, but we wear these. I a like lot. these. <laughs> yeah. We wear these. I like these. these a lot. Yeah. I got I go through a lot of Concords in particular. So when these came out, cause I used to wear the DMPs a lot. Like mm -hmm. I've had four and a half packs of the DMPs. Mm -hmm. So it was like the same thing. Like now yeah. it's this and it's like, I'm back rocking them. Like yeah. I'm excited about these coming yeah. out. So for me, great shoe. But they're sitting on shelves. I don't care. They're still Buy dope. what you like. They're still dope. Pick what you like. Okay. So we came to an agreement that <laughs> we're gonna share. We're gonna share first place. We're gonna this. share first place. We're gonna share first place with the Dornbecker 3 and the White Cement Reimagined 3. Mind you guys, remember this, at the beginning of the year, my dad was not liking these and he was not liking the J Balvin's. And now he's like, yeah, they grew on me. Those grew on me. I, I See, I be knowing, I be knowing. <laughs> I don't need to have it grow on me. Sometimes I do, <sighs> but I don't need to have but, it grow on me. But this is still my number one. <laughs> Size 14. We Size 14. <laughs> so we're rocking with the Reimagine 3 and the Dornbecker Air Jordan 3 as the number one sneaker of 2023 for the general releases or limited releases or whatever you want to call it. We got a bunch of, grab a couple of shoes over there so they know that they the can't, next, they next, can't. Just show them because the next video is coming. Oh. They're going to see that one tomorrow. 21 Savage. USC4. What else you got? <laughs> Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That's just a few. Watch okay. for the next video. I picked up over 10 samples and PEs like I do every year. Uh, so we have to make a whole separate video because we feel like it's not fair. So if you guys want to see that video, stay tuned. It'll drop either later today or tomorrow or whatever. It'll be linked after this one. That was the top 10 sneakers. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment hey, section. Y'all, I know y'all got to agree with me. <laughs> Why I know y'all you? agree with me right there. Right crazy. there. People are going to be like, that's the ugliest shoe ever. Man. Hell. They don't know. They don't know. The materials are crazy. I already went over this in the review. When, okay. When you wear these, I'm telling you, we're going to step out and people go, oh my God, what is those? Yeah. These are very nice looking shoes. I'll be wearing these. I got multiples but of they're these. they're not going to get that. Oh my God, what is those? I also have multiples of these. Are you lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> it's a difference. <laughs> Sound like the people in the comments actually. Are right, you right. Lucky? Are you lucky though? No, I work for these. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. We'll see you guys in another one. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Next video is coming. Top 10 samples and PE pickups of 2023. And then uh, I already got some new pickups for 2024 already. We're like two days in. <laughs> we'll get started with that later. <laughs> All right, we out. All right. <laughs> I would never let you down and send my DNA. Hey, the hey, only choice I like to make, what I'ma wear today. One one I would one never one. let you down and send my DNA. The only choice I like to make, what I'ma wear today. I was made for it.